Hi traders, welcome to this Forex trading week ahead analysis video. My name's John. I'm going to be taking you through what's to come this week as well as some charts of interest. So in terms of data, we have another big trading week in terms of uh, lots of high impact data, including a potential uh, cut in rates by two central banks. Now, the Bank of Canada being one of those, they will potentially cut interest rates by 25 basis points to 4.75%. Now, the market is pricing in a 61% chance of a cut, so it will be a very, very tense data release. The expectations is that we are going to get the cut, but it will come with guidance from the Bank of Canada that they will be cautious in cutting further. The ECB could follow in similar footsteps with forecasts showing a cut of 25 basis points this Thursday. Inflation in the Eurozone, however, did rise for the first time this year from 2.4% to 2.6%. So I'm guessing they're going to follow the same path as the Bank of Canada potentially with a rate cut, but then a view to kind of hold rates steadier. Then we have the US non-farm payrolls on Friday. This will be watched really, really closely. Market participants are no longer pricing in a cut in July. However, a weakening labor market could bring September back into contention. The market currently split 50-50 on whether we're going to see a cut or a hold. I don't particularly see that happening, but if we did see a significant decrease here in the non-farm employment change with a decrease in average hourly earnings and an increase in the unemployment rate, then maybe the market would bring September back into focus. Going on to the US dollar index then, so we've been trading between sort of the 105 handle and the 104 handle last week. We kind of range bound between this area. Perfect market conditions uh, for those traders looking to trade from highs and lows. We had beautiful sort of price action between those two levels, allowing you to kind of gain on those major currency pairs. But I think if you're going to be looking for any type of direction, we need to see one of these levels being cleared, whether that being a break above 105s or break above this one. Uh, below this 104 handle going on to aussie us dollar then so we do have some aussie uh, data out this week as well but the australian dollar has been fairly strong recently and you can see that we're holding above this 50 day moving average at the moment showing us that buyers are in more uh, favor uh, than sellers at the moment we did get really nice price action levels around about that zero spot 66 handle market is now potentially climbing back up towards that zero spot 67 resistance so it'd be interesting to see do we get sellers entering here does that give us opportunities to trade to the downside or do we breach and see price move more towards that zero spot 68.50 or do sellers think that we're going to breach the downside potentially we can see a break below that zero spot 66 handle dollar cad's obviously going to be a big mover this week we've got both very important data sets out of Canada as well as the US. We're currently trading above that major swing level of one spot 36. We've been talking about this for some time. I like the idea of selling rallies here at the moment on DollarCAD, uh, especially because the market is making these lower highs into a very big level where there's lots of volume underneath. So in my theory, I'm expecting a push down towards this kind of 135 handle, perhaps even the 134s. Obviously, if I'm wrong about that, then breaks above 137 would see a move back up towards 139. Finally then, dollar Swiss. I think we've got to pay attention to dollar Swiss at the moment. Swiss inflation this week expected to actually climb and we can see that we're seeing a uh, level being tested here at zero spot nine. Very important level recently. Price has been held here for some time. So I think breaches below this could open up a move down towards this volume area uh, between that sort of zero spot uh, 88, zero spot 88, 75. That could be an area to, to really look out for if we were to breach zero spot nine. If we hold here, then a move back up to the highs here uh, would be ideal going into this trading week so i'm going to leave it there thank you for watching this video if you really did enjoy it hit that like button and subscribe if you're new i will catch you in the next video